first get a jar. Patrick, that's a pickle. Yes. You need a jar. No. What's that one thing you should do in your 20s before turning 30? So here are 10 best comments plus one supreme tip from a birthday greeting from a friend who told me it yesterday, so I just had to add it at the end of this list. Start doing workouts and stretchings. You have only one body, well, at least now. But look at it this way. If you had everything in the world, money, loving people around you, but you would be sick. How could you enjoy these things? Take care of the vessel. But that's just a shell. It's not bad or good. That part's up to you. If you smoke cigarettes, quit. It's all shits and giggles when you're in your 20s, but it will catch up to you way quicker than you think. If you quit now, your body still has enough time to heal most of the damage that has been done to it. Realize that your friend group from your early 20s will most likely look completely different by your late 20s and into your 30s. And that's okay. Oh man, most of my friends left the country after high school, so I felt lonely. But this kind of makes me feel less bad. And if you like these videos, subscribe would be connecting. Other than investing, get your physical and mental health in order. And this is the order. Can't skip any of these steps for a fulfilling life. Unlearn the life plan mindset. Sometimes things change. You won't like your career that you majored later like you do now. Or maybe you already started seeing the cons. And this goes for other parts of your life as well. Maybe your spouse will get paralyzed. Maybe you will win the lottery. Or maybe your child will need constant care. Get ready for a life full of challenges and great and bad things and live in the present more than the future. That's just overthinking. But that's okay, starting over isn't a bad thing. Don't compare yourself to your cousin Johnny or cousin Lily. They're already struggling with their parents' expectations. Life gives you lemons. <laughs> just, just kidding. But we have all been served something different. And I know it's hard, but the only objective comparison you can do is to yesterday's self. Also, if you can, move away from your parents. You'll be surprised by how much parents can influence their children's lives and their choices depending on your family, of course. I've seen where this can break respect between son and his mom, and in my case too, it helped and healed the relationship with my parents. But I don't know, what do you think? If you're a guy who suspect might go bald early because of genetics, try out some weird hairstyles. Well, if it works in your line of work. Get a forehead, cut off some bangs like it's the 70s, grow it out and braid it, I don't know. If you will not do it young, you'll just look immature when you get older. If you really want to try it, the sooner the better. Start investing money. Add money to your investment account. Jeez, stop. Okay, fine, I mean, you should learn how to save money, but not too fast. I think you should start investing only once you get a stable job, or at least have a job that you can imagine yourself doing for longer. Sometimes I feel sorry I'm not meeting as many people as I used to, but as I'm getting older, I'm starting to see that we are in a stage of life where we try to build something more than live something. And he could not be more right. You're off from your teenagers and naturally you try to create an independent lifestyle. Free, locally, financially, whatever makes you feel free. And sometimes you have to do that on the expense of some good stuff. Life is about closing doors, even the pretty ones. So, which doors are you going to close? Can you outsmart a mugger? Check the video there. Or what is society lying about? Check the video there. No, really, like, check it now. Okay, bye.